This is the aftermath of the fighting between the Tapo and Agarabi tribes in Kainantu. Permanent and semi-permanent buildings and food gardens were destroyed. And first time, let me plan on looking this like I'm something have come up inside the place. Let me plan. You go back and see our land or village now, all got something we plan it's gone. I'll send people something, I'll send me bend down. This is the alluvial mining spot where the dispute started. The argument is between the extended family members exploded into a full tribal fight. We play stopping, we play putting time. No, only no can come. So only can walk finish now. These men, women and children are part of a group of at least 3,000 people who are taking refuge here at the Kemifa camp area. They were taken in by the SDA church community and have been here since. They are from the Agarabi tribe, one of the tribes involved in the fighting. But life in the camp area is now a challenge for them. They need food, tents and other necessities to rebuild their lives. When the Oseki says, like the other displaced families, she lost her home and other valuable properties when her house was destroyed. Oh, same song. One of them experience when how many people go through here. Yeah. I'm too much pain. Schools and business activities were also affected. Almost every week, so you can imagine, one whole time here. Yeah. That's one whole time. So, looking at this 10 weeks, it's like quite a long time. So, it's, uh, the learning of the students is really affected. The Northern Mobile Group is heading the peace negotiations between the two factions in bringing back normalcy in the township. Commissioner Sharim Blakamlong established the situation, bring him normalcy to restore him services. Martha Lewis, National Live TV News.